Renovating a house can be really overwhelming. However, having a beautifully renovated house in an established neighborhood, that can be amazing. Let's dive into why you might want to use a renovation loan like an FHA 203K instead of building a new home. So what is an FHA 203K? Well, it's for fixer uppers. It's a renovation loan. It's obviously a mouthful to say FHA 203K. I'll probably call it a 203K from here on out, just a note. So this kind of loan is for something like a fixer upper, something that needs help. So maybe it has old flooring in it, it hasn't been updated. Maybe it has safety hazards. Maybe you need to make it ADA compliant or close to it. Maybe it's got some mold. Maybe it has structural issues. Probably needs a new roof. All of these things fall under the umbrella of what an FHA 203K can do for you. So let's cover five points about the 203K loan that may help you make a decision about whether or not you wanna use it. So first off, there are actually two different types of FHA 203K loans. The regular one or the standard one has a loan limit on it and the appraiser kind of helps you figure out helps you. He establishes or they establish how much money you're going to get for your renovations. The other type of 203k loan is um, it has the standard on it like a $35,000. So you can only have $35,000 on the limited 203k loan. And if you've ever done any work on a house, especially in the past two years, then you may realize that $35,000 might not get you very far. But it could help, it just depends on what your house needs or what the house you're looking at buying needs. So point number two, for an FHA 203K, you only need a 580 credit score. And in some cases, your credit score could be as low as 500, just depending on how many hoops you wanna jump through. So you're asking, how the heck does this work? So let's say you found a house to purchase for $200,000. It needs a lot of work. And so you're thinking like, okay, well, I think it needs like $80,000 worth of work. You would ask the bank, you would put in an offer for the house for $280,000. And the bank would ideally loan you $280,000, the 80,000 in cash essentially, to do the work on the house so that at the end it would be worth $280,000. Therefore, your down payment on an FHA 203K would be three and a half percent of $280,000. This can work out so much better for you than purchasing a new home or like building a custom from the ground up. So you can sometimes put 5% down on a custom new build. Usually though, it's 10 to 20%. 20% of course is what the bank likes. So in an FHA 203K, only putting down three and a half percent, you get to keep a lot of money in your pocket. Now there are restrictions of course. Point number three, on how the work is done and who does the work. So who does the work has to be a licensed contractor with insurance. They have to have a full-time business. It cannot be your uncle who does it on the side. I'm sorry, it cannot be you who, you know, you do it on the side and you're gonna watch some YouTube videos. Sorry, you can do up to 10% of the work yourself, they call that 10% of sweat equity work. A lot of times what you can get um, approved for sweat equity work would be like paint or landscaping. So you may be asking, how does this money work? How do they know how much they're going to give me? Because obviously they have to do an appraisal and figure out how much this property is gonna be worth after you do the repairs on it or the renovation. So here's the way it works. Are you ready? I have to read this so that I get it right for you. So the way the money works is this. For the FHA 203K loan, you can borrow up to 110% of the property's value after repairs or improvements are made. Or you can borrow the purchase price plus the repair costs, whichever is less, whichever is less. So you're not gonna have like money left over is what I'm saying. All right, the fourth thing to consider is that this work has to be done within six months. So how long does it take to close an FHA 203K? Well, it takes around 90 days because you got a lot of people involved. You have your contractor, you have your appraiser, they're going back and forth, the loan company, all these people, right? So it takes 90 days, let's call it 90 days to be safe, to close on the loan. And then you have another six months in order to finish the work and have it reinspected. So these loans can feel long and complicated. And I think what, like part of what the complication is, is like not many people do these, they don't opt to do these. So often like a new construction loan will feel more simple because like builders do those all the time and they kind of help you through the process. So if you don't have a good team 
on your side for an FHA 203K, then it might feel horrible. But if you have a good team on your side, then it should go fairly smoothly and you'll get a beautiful house at the end of it. Okay, my fifth point. Interest rates are gonna be very different. Okay, so on a new construction loan, your interest rate is going to be super comparable to what the market rate is at the moment. Meaning like if the rate's at six and a half percent for a conventional loan and you're trying to get a, a new construction loan, it's going to be around that. For an FHA 203k, it's going to be higher. It's going to be one percent to one and a half percent higher. So if, you're, if your market rate's at six and a half percent for an FHA, then you're probably looking at a seven and a half to eight percent for your FHA 203k. This is the price of cash. That's what you have to pay to get that cash and have a low down payment and have a government backed loan, all of the things at once. Now you will have the option typically to refinance out of your 203k after you finish the work into a regular FHA or a conventional. I'm Marcy Billen. I am a real estate agent here in Oklahoma. Specifically, I work in the Oklahoma City Metro. If you are interested in FHA 203Ks, please give me a call. My information's in the description below. And definitely watch this video next.